Hello everyone. So uh, today's video is just a short one. It's me fitting uh, a small uh, mono pitch truss roof onto a small extension I've been uh, working on. There's some other roofs on the extension. So this uh, back part was done in trusses. It probably normally be done in hand cut, uh, but with the cost of uh, materials, especially timber now, getting more and more expensive, uh, and the labour on top to, to hand cut this, although it's only small, it actually does work out uh, quite a bit cheaper to have these engineered trusses. Uh, the timbers that are used in these trusses are much smaller because of the way that it's engineered and the gang nail plates they use. And obviously fitting them on is probably quicker than hand cutting it. There's not a great deal to do hand cutting it. There's, there's only a top plate, a bottom plate and some bird's mouth, but it is very quick to put these trusses on. It's, it's quite a typical of a lean-to type extension roof, really, sort of here in the UK. Um, you know, we just put a mono pitch roof on it. And uh, what this roof has got is uh, flush uh, flush barges. So the barges and the fascia will use PVC plastic, which I didn't do. So I've just prepared the roof for those. So you'll see me, uh, I put the roof on, obviously, cut the rafter feet off, and then I put um, like a fascia carrier. So it's a piece of timber that goes on first and that uh, the soffit can pin to it and then the fascia can obviously fix to it. It just makes it a bit more robust. And also the same with the barge board. Uh, I fit a uh, four by one. Uh, the back side of the four by one is flush with the face of the brickwork. So you'll see I leveled up and cut my noggins. And then when the brick layer then just bricks up the back of that piece of timber that I've put on, and then when the guys come in to do the plastic, they then just literally uh, lip their, uh, what is fascia board on the barge and the, the sort of lip of the fascia covers the uh, 22 odd mil of the 2 by one, uh, 4 by one that I put up there. So it makes a nice, uh, neat job. Now this is not a fantastically technical uh, roof. It's it's really quite simple. And, and actually a lot of the roofing that we tend to do nowadays is, uh, is manufactured by the, the, the trust manufacturers and you know they can make all kinds of uh, roofs if you just introduce a bit of steel and the design is can pretty much get over anything so we tend to find that uh, although I, I do some quite intricate hand cut roofs I'm doing them less and less uh, purely because of the, as I said the trust manufacturers can make pretty much any roof now and as I said earlier with uh, the cost of timber you know hand cut roofs are generally they're much larger timber sections whereas uh, when they put uh, the trusses in the, the, the truss sections and the truss timbers are always much much smaller so there's there's savings in terms of the cost of manufacturing the trusses but then there's also savings on site because trusses generally are quicker to install so um, I put the cord uh, the, I put the camera up in the corner of this scaffold and I'll sort of speed it up a bit so I hope you enjoy it and if you do enjoy it uh, thanks for watching. 